I just wanted to qu quickly share a um, experience that happened to me, and um, I'm still not quite believing it really happened, but it did, and I um, has, have been delaying and hesitating sharing this with anybody just for that fact that this is really, really unusual, and I understand if you don't believe me, I don't know if I would believe me, except it happened, so I know it's true. I had been... This is probably about a month or so ago, and I had been praying, and I had a lot of questions on my heart about what else I needed to do. One specific thing was baptism, to be um, fully reborn and ready, um, reborn in Christ. And my church kind of feels that at birth, you're baptized, and you're good. And I have Baptist friends who feel otherwise, so I've been praying on it. And I was actually talking to one of my friends and she was feeling pretty strongly. She's Baptist and she felt very strongly that I should be baptized. So I prayed on it and it was also the, um, that day that I was fasting. And I usually don't bring that up except for it's kind of relevant, I think, to what happened. Um, and I'm terrible at fasting. I really am. And I only, but I felt like the spirit was moving me that something was important about this. So I did. And that night, I was not sleeping. I kept waking up. I think at like 3 in the morning, I woke up and could not get back to sleep. I think an hour went by. I think by finally 4.30 or so, I finally just was starting to drift off to sleep when all of a sudden, excuse me, my child is banging on the piano, anything to keep her busy. Um, about 4.30 in the morning, just as I thought, felt I was drifting off, I felt something lift me out of my body. It literally felt like somebody just came up behind and just swooped me up. And I, I say it felt like I lifted up. I'm up. I can't verify I was actually left my body behind. I but I've read in the Bible where they pull out your spirit and can take you up. So I, I, I vividly remember it, this wasn't a dream because as I was being lifted up. I thought to myself, this is really happening. And I was a little afraid at first and I prayed, although in my heart, I knew I was safe. I felt like my house is anointed. It's safe. I, we had live a very strong prayerful life in this house. I don't think anything sinister could have come in and done anything, you know? Um, so anyway, I prayed and I felt safe and this, and I don't know if it was an angel. I've come now to feel like perhaps it was the Holy Spirit um, lifted me up. And the next thing I saw was what looked like a huge, I guess it looked kind of like uh, a, a huge pool of some kind, but it was more like, I felt like it was almost like I was inside a large clay jar. It's all I can, how I can describe it. The ceiling kind of curved up at the top. Um, kind of, I can't even think of what color, it was more of a shadowed room, um, almost like you're in a big jar, like a cistern or something. Anyway, um, I was lowered into this, what looked like water, and as I was like halfway down, and I realized it felt very different. It felt like heavier than water, but lighter than oil, something almost between the two. Uh, it felt wonderful. And I, as just as I was halfway down, suddenly something just went floop and it flipped me over like head over heels into the water. I was fully immersed and I was under the water and I could see it was like illuminated and keep in mind, I'm not dreaming. Okay. And I was, the next thought that hit me was I can breathe under here. I could breathe this water, I think is what it was, oil, water. Um, and then I started to look around underneath and it was like illuminated. And as I started to kind of swim, all of a sudden I shot back out and I was flying and I went through the ceiling of this jar cistern type thing, went through and it was very dark and I could hear, it was very hard to describe at this point because I, I get so many blurred images and, and experiences and things that are hard to put into words, but I could, it's almost like I could pick up the sound waves of things around me, like voices, radio, people talking. I saw houses and trees. It was dark outside. And, um, then all of a sudden it was like, I looked across like a wide expanse, perhaps a city. It was dark, but then all these white lights just blinked on like a circuit board, but they were white. 
and they blinked on and everything all at once just shot up into the air. Like they just took off. And, and I can't remember if I said it out loud, but somehow I just knew I said the rapture, like it was a confirmation. That was something else I had been praying on was just more encouragement about the feeling that I was on the path of truth and Lord, please confirm if I'm on the path of, of truth in believing this. And as always, he always confirms with me. And so, I mean, okay, so let me finish that experience and I'll tell you about another one, but, and I'll try to make this quick. Um, so after that, um, then it was like, I just was aware that I was back in my body again. And some, I don't know if things were kept from me, but it just seems like everything happened very fast. Now, what I feel like this was, is I had been praying and praying about baptism. Lord, do I need to be baptized? And I don't know if this was a baptism, if this was an anointing, perhaps both. I don't know. I don't know if it was anointing what to be anointed for, if if he has work for me to do. Uh, I mean, I'm still figuring this out. So if you guys have thoughts, um, I'd love to hear them. And um, so that morning as I was getting ready, you know, I hesitated even telling my husband. He's going to think, okay, he, she's a nut. But luckily he loves me and he, he knows I'm sincere and I wouldn't just make something like this up. So, but, but just know that I've, I've waited a while to even share this just because I was waiting for the Lord to kind of indicate to me, um, if this is something he wanted me to share. And I feel like I've got my answer today and that, um, whenever I pray on this, it seems like later that day, I'm suddenly blessed with some time to actually make a video, which I never have time to do this with little ones running around. And I have some time to do that today. So I feel like that was my answer too, and some other ways he's guided me to, to sharing um, my testimony with people. Um, I don't know if perhaps he wants me to share this just to let others know that um, um, baptism is important, or if it's more of a message to say that you pray and seek him and he will answer, because that is exactly how I heard in my head as I was getting ready that morning. I was praying and saying, Lord, tell me about this. And all I heard in my heart, it's like the, the words just kind of fell into my head was you fasted, you prayed, and I answered. So there you go. Um, one other experience I had was again, regarding the rapture. And if you've read or watched my other videos, you would know that that is kind of new for me. Um, I haven't always followed that doctrine. My church never preached it until the Lord finally came to me in dreams um, waking me up and letting me know this is coming. And, um, when it was all very, very new to me, probably about a few years ago, I had prayed and said, Lord, please protect me from false doctrine. If this is false, protect me. But if it's the truth, tell me, show me, let me know. And so that very next morning I was watching an evangelist on TV and he was actively saying that the rapture was false doctrine. And he was really, you know, being steadfast in this belief. And he, in the midst of him preaching this, my TV stopped and actually just froze. Now my TV doesn't usually do that unless like the satellite, like there's a big storm or something. It was bright sunshine outside. Not even, it wasn't even windy out, but my TV froze and right away, that thought came in my head. He's answering my prayer. He's protecting me from false doctrine. And this evangelist was actively preaching that there wasn't a rapture. So what is Jesus saying to me? He's protecting me from, from this, which is false, letting me know there is indeed going to be a rapture. And he's again, giving me other signs for that, but I want to make this video not quite so long. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, I never did get my TV working again until I had to reboot the whole system. So yeah, Jesus was pretty um, pretty direct in his answer to me. And, um, and my, again, that doesn't usually happen. And I thought the timing was just a little too uncanny. So, um, and I've had many other answers in addition to that. So just so you know, um, okay, but I'm just going to leave it at that. And I hope this blesses you and answer some questions for you. And again, don't ever underestimate the power of prayer, the power of fasting, and the, just the power seek and you shall find, ask and it shall be answered, knock, and the door will be opened. And I'm telling you, that's exactly what's happening for me. So God bless you guys.